Hi everyone, it's Molly. Today I wanted, or tonight, <laughs> I wanted to show you how I've been making my denim paper clips. And these are, they're called extra large, they're 76 millimeter or about 3 inches. These ones are from Daiso. Um, I had a lovely friend, Brenda, that was kind enough to send me some because I don't have a Daiso nearby. Uh, and I love these. She sent me two boxes. These are wonderful. This is just a piece of denim from an old pair of jeans. And so I've been cutting them in about two and a half by six and a half inch strips. This one's a little crooked, kind of goes that way, but we're going to work with it anyway. So if you um, have a rotary cutter, if you're uh, a seamstress or you have a rotary cutter, I've just been cutting them in strips on a cutting board. If you don't have a rotary cutter, you can always measure them out. You can measure them out uh, like a piece of paper, measure them out, mark them, and cut them with scissors. It doesn't matter that you're perfect because it's going to be fraying anyway. It's just kind of an old, worn look. And so the first thing I, I want to do is sew down a piece of ribbon that I have. Now you can always offset it, put it on the side, but I'm going to go right down the middle. I just think this particular one I want to do that. So just kind of secure this. Eh, it's hard when the fabric's a little crooked. I'm going to secure this with a pin just to make sure I'm going the right way here. I don't like doing sewing tutorials too much with my sewing machine just because I know that it doesn't show up well on, on video. So bear with me. Um, I have a zipper attachment on now and I'll show you why later. So right now I'm just going to run a piece of thread all along here to secure this. I'm going to do two swipes down, this will, down with my sewing machine. One on each side. It depends on the ribbon as to how much sewing I do on this. And I don't bother knotting it or, you know, backtracking. So there's one. I'm going to go down this end as well. There you go. And just very quick. Okay, and that's all I need to do on that. So once you have that down, and all you need to do, what I do with my paper clip? Okay, who has seen my paper clip? Well, let's get another one out. There you go, it's in my scissor handle. Okay, fashion your paper clip. If you want the paper clip to come onto your paper from the right, then fashion, um, hold it so that the two loops are on the left side. And go under the inside loop there and fold it. There you go. Sort of find the middle and straighten the fabric out there so it's not bunched up. There we go. Okay. So once you get that situated in about where you want it, I usually make my back just a little bit, the back piece a little longer than the front. I'm going to pin it just in a couple places to make sure it doesn't run away on me. And the reason I like to use the zipper foot attachment is I want to sew right up against that um, paper clip. Let's see if I can find my regular foot here. Here it is. On a regular foot, when you're sewing, the two sides of the foot are going to keep the needle far away from that clip because you can see here is where the needle is going to go and that is really far away from there whereas a sewing uh, a zipper foot does not have that one foot there you can get right up against the paper clip and that's what I'm going to do now get right up against there and I am going to go back or uh, in reverse a little bit here just to make sure I get that really secured Okay, and that's it. So once that's on there, you can trim off all of the extra threads that are lying on that. And then you should have uh, already kind of picked out some embellishments you want to attach to that. And I think I got, oh goodness, I got out of one pair of pants, one just one pant leg, I think I got about 16 of these. So it lasts a long time. You can get a lot out of that fabric. These are just pinking shears. I like to give it a little pinking edge there. And for the front. Be careful if you're using um, there. Be careful if you're using um, ribbon that has wire on the edges and I am so crooked I'm going to fix that. You don't want to cut through a wired ribbon with good scissors. Just only want to cut fabric and thread with your good scissors. There you go. So now that I have that, I'm going to lower my foot, turn that off. I want to choose some embellishments to put on there. And I have grabbed some ahead of time. And I decided to go with some Mickeys. I had 
bought some of these on eBay earlier, little Mickey heads, and I should have opened this ahead of time. Here we go. I've got a pink, hot pink, and here's a kind of a pinky lavender color. Well, there it is. One of those, and I have a red one. I have pretty much just been putting my um, embellishments on there with glue. Okay, I have kind of a light pink, a hot pink, and a red. So I'm going to grab my E6000 and just put a da dab on each spot, right in the middle, one on top, one on bottom, and then put these on there and let them dry. And while they're drying, I'm going to show you some of the other ones that I made. There we go. And there you go. I hope that shows up on the camera there. Okay. Now I want to show you some of the other ones I made. This one I did the the ribbon offset. This is a paper punch and a key that I glued on. Again, I got those keys in uh, off of eBay as well. Some more embellishments. These are little pearls that I glued on to the metal. This was an embellishment I found on clearance at Hobby Lobby. It was supposed to be a pendant. I've got a heart, a key, and red, white, and blue shiny stars. This is some owl ribbon that I also got on clearance at a thrift store. Another key from eBay, Baker's Twine. These are in like the, the decorative button section at uh, Joann's, and I glued some rhinestones, Swarovski crystals right there. And a little ribbon and um, sunflower button. And this was a scrapbooking embellishment, it says Paris little uh, wood veneer there and plastic flowers. Here's one I did a leaf, another sunflower, and another wood uh, veneer. This is, oh, seam binding tape. I got a whole bunch in a bag at another thrift store and just a little, quite a different selection here of gems and uh, lock and key. And this one is a three-dimensional butterfly. It's actually paper. You can see there, I hope that shows up. And I glued some half um, half pearls, you know, they're flat on the back. And I have an old, um, old, old Sizzix um, die cut machine. So I cut the leaf out, tried to paint it to give it a little bit of dimension there, and glued the ladybugs on there. Plus it's a ladybug, ladybug ribbon. And this one I glued a, um, oh, the, the uh, bottle caps that you smash flat. And I glued those on there and put in those uh, one-inch images that you can get. I ordered these on Etsy, and they are, aren't they cute? Little minions, they're one-inch. And so I put those in there with a one-inch clear epoxy dome sticker on that. So that's how I made all those. I hope that um, was enjoyable. Thank you very much for watching and subscribing.